Oh, hey, Bellas. So what do you want us to sing tonight? I brought this, just in case. We didn't invite you guys to sing. We invited you to watch. Ak, excuse me? I just thought you guys were so busy with your awesome jobs and amazing lives. I am, actually. Oh, we yeah, all, we all, sense. we're so one of my favorite things about Pitch Perfect is just kind of the girl poweriness of it all because, you know, it's a woman director, but it's also, you know, a, a franchise that was produced by women, written by women, stars very powerful women in powerful roles, um, and there aren't enough movies that do that. We all know that. I think Hollywood is finally getting that memo, but it takes a while for the world to catch up when things like that finally hit the consciousness. So I'm glad that Pitch Perfect kind of is ahead of the head of the curve. Um, it's been great working with strong, brave, powerful, smart, creative women through this whole process. You get off my dream of They're so bright and shiny. They look pretty. They look like they was all breastfed. <laughs> The riff off this time around is different because, you know, we're not dealing with acapella on acapella violence anymore. We're dealing with like musicians on a tour that play instruments in different genres. We've got country, we've got sort of, you know, a bluegrassy country and a girl rock band and a hip hop outfit. And then here, here come the Bellas. Becca. What are you doing? Don't. <laughs> if you cry, I'm gonna cry. Don't make that face. I'm not doing it. Don't make that face. This is my regular face. They are so hysterical. You can just turn the camera on these two people and watch them go. And sometimes you just forget to yell cut. And eventually they're just like, are you going to ever yell cut? Because we're just all staring at them or laughing so hard we're peeing our pants. Um, they're very, very, very funny. And they understand, of course, having been here from the beginning, they understand the specific brand of humor in this story and what these women and what these characters have been through and so they're just like the perfect voice of the franchise. Bye bye Bellas. It really does feel like goodbye John. The reason Pitch Perfect touches so many people is that this this particular story and these characters have found a way to walk the line between absurd, uh, larger-than-life eccentric kookiness and a fundamental realness that feels true and grounded. All right, ladies, pick up your tits. We're going to show them that we are not a joke.